Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's episode of Arcarium with Kerry Ganya and Mark Edgar Stevens. As always, we will be exploring a single subject, a single question from a multitude of perspectives from the head, the heart, and from spirit. Before we ask today's question, we are going to introduce ourselves. Kerry, can you please let everyone know who you are? Hi, everyone. My name is Kerry Ganya, and I am a facilitator in a therapy called Family Constellation Therapy. I help people clean up the ancestral trauma. And I am Mark Edgar Stevens. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, and I offer my services as a coach and consultant to businesses, to nonprofit organizations, and to individuals. Together, we are our Carrium. And today, Carrie is going to ask the first question. Have at it, Carrie. <laughs> I would love to know how do you find your life's purpose? My life's purpose. Okay. I think you mean everybody's life purpose, but, yeah, but I'm going to yeah. speak very personally though, because for me, the idea of purpose has changed a great deal over the years. Um, so, you know, there is the idea of there's this one purpose, you know, my purpose in life is X or my purpose in life is to X plus Y equals Z. I think life purpose actually changes moment to moment. I think life purpose is all about what the moment is. Sometimes my life purpose is just to sit in whatever the feeling is that I'm having, whether that's a pleasant feeling or an unpleasant feeling. Sometimes my purpose is to inspire. Sometimes my purpose is to... Uh, to, to heal. Sometimes my purpose is to share a message. Sometimes my purpose is to share information that I have or that I believe to be true. And I think life's purpose changes moment to moment. I think for me, the experience is, is it internal or external? If it's in, internal, it's purpose, meaning what am I supposed to be doing right now? Can I take a moment that is not feeling great and can it become a better feeling moment by simply being true to what it is that I'm feeling. The external experience is mission. So I think of the mission as this is how I'm going to achieve that. So it's inspiration. So is that through coaching? Is that through consulting? Is that through speaking? Is that through just being out in nature, whatever that may be, or healing. This is now me working with a facilitator like Kerry Ganya to be able to experience what's going on uh, in my own generational trauma. So whatever the mission is, is external and whatever is internal, whatever the purpose is, is what's happening in that moment. And that really changes. That's how I feel it on a personal level. And I know everyone has a different experience of what that is, but when we talk about purpose, if purpose is not ever changing, then it can become flexible or inflexible. And when it's inflexible, sometimes we're not open to what spirit is trying to give to us, to say to us. We, you know, we make a, a set vision here in the mind and spirit then works through something and the purpose changes. And if we don't stay flexible with what spirit is giving to us, then a lot of times we may not only be missing what the purpose is, we may be going on a mission that doesn't have to be, um, uh, a mission that doesn't have to be fully completed or a mission that doesn't have to be as detail oriented because maybe that mission changes based on how that purpose changes. And for you, Carrie, on the big picture and personally, um, what is life's purpose and how do you find it? I love, I love your answer because you know me, especially with family constellation therapy, I always bring it back to the internal. I feel like in the last two, three, four years, there's been kind of this big buzzword of finding your purpose. And I think that that puts a lot of pressure on people. I was having this conversation with a client yesterday who is extraordinary and has, her healing transformation has been nothing short of miraculous and beautiful. And I was telling her, I think the purpose sometimes is just being, it's healing, it's looking at yourself it's honoring who you are it's like you said being with those emotions even the uncomfortable ones and it's not something that we have to chase outside of ourselves I think for me and it took me a long time to realize this in terms of purpose my light is my purpose like and it was the thing I was shamed for the most as a little kid and so I really rejected my purpose and then constantly chased things outside of myself to tell me that I was purposeful. And so it's been really interesting coming home to the fact of, oh, wow, like us being alive is our purpose. 
us being kind is our purpose. Us breathing is our purpose. So I, I, I love how you broke it down between purpose and mission though. I hadn't thought of it like that before. For, you know, for me or for, you know, taking a look at what you just said, which is going back to the light. I do believe that when we follow our purpose in the moment, whatever that purpose is in the moment, I believe that it eventually it does lead to light, joy, love, gratitude. That's where purpose leads. And that's why following purpose is so important. It doesn't mean it necessarily starts there and may start in the contrast in the incongruence of emotions, um, anger, fear, apathy, regret, whatever the thing may be. But the point is that purpose leads you back to that place of love, gratitude, forgiveness, light, all of those things that, that you just shared. I think purpose leads you back to yourself. Something we're constantly kind of told to avoid, you know, so I love that. So in this little moment, uh, if you are listening out there and you feel that your purpose is to communicate with us, you can always write to us with any questions, any feedback you have at talk to Arcarium. That's T-A-L-K, the number two, Arcarium at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. As always, we like to finish our episodes with Carrie sharing something beautiful about today's subject, life's purpose, purpose. Carrie, take it away. I think this week, ask yourself the question, what if I am the purpose? What if I'm already living in my purpose and see what comes?